السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. السلام عليكم ورحمة وبركاته. The Prophet of mankind, the peace of our heart, and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, has said, Indeed, he who is sat salat rood upon me the most will be the closest to me and the day of judgment. He who sat after me, as salat wa salam alayka ya Rasulullah. Salat wa salam alayka ya Rasulullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habibullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habibullah. Salat wa salam alayka ya Nabi Allah. Salat wa salam alayka ya Nabi Allah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nur Allah. Please recite the following dua after me. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal. Open the doors of knowledge. Open the doors of knowledge. And wisdom for us. And wisdom for us. And have mercy on us. And have mercy on us. Oh, the one who is the most honourable. Oh, the one who is the most honourable. And glorious. And glorious. Allah Azza wa Jal has sent His beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wasallam as a as the perfect example of miracles. A great number of miracles were bestowed upon the noblest Prophet Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wasallam by Allah Azza wa Jal. One of the greatest miracles of the noblest Prophet Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wasallam is the miracle of Mi'raj, ascension of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wasallam to the heavens and beyond. The most revered and renowned um, Prophet Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wasallam was made to ascend heaven, where he Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wasallam observed many divine rewards. Today, I am, I am a privilege to present you with some of those heavenly observations. In the Holy Quran, Surah Bani Israel, verse 1, Allah Azza wa Jal states, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Subhan al-Ladhi asra bi'abdihi laylan min al-Masjid al-Haram ila al-Masjid al-Aqsa al-Ladhi barakna hawlahu linudhiyahu min ayatina, ingahu huwa al-Sami'u al-Basir. Translation and Tafsir from Tafsir, from Tafsir, uh, from Tafsir, Nur al-Irfan. Holy is he who carried his bondsmen by night from the sacred mosque to the Aqsa mosque, around which we have put blessings that we may show him our grand signs. No doubt he is the all-hearing and all-seeing. Allah Azza wa Jal is pure from every type of blemish and loss and harm. Whoever recites the great, great, uh, his, this great name of Allah Almighty in the form of a wazifa, i.e. Subhan or Ya Subhan, Allah Almighty will purify him of sins. The splendor and refulgence of every name of uh, Allah Almighty in cast upon the reciter. One who recites the wazifa of Yagani will become wealthy and bountiful. In this verse, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam physical mi'raj is discussed, which took place in the 11th year of prophethood, 621 CE, during the later part of the 27th night of Rajab, in total state of wakefulness. Many mi'raj in the form of dreams had taken place prior prior and after this great event. During the physical mi'raj, the five daily prayers had been made obligatory because the word abd, bondsman, has both a physical and spiritual link. Also, the, infi the infidels would have blown such a storm over just a mi'raj of a dream, nor would the discussion of such a mi'raj had commenced with holy is he who carried his bondsman. This expression is only used to describe an incredibly unique incident. It should be remembered that the Holy Prophet وسلم, appeared in the world in a dignified condition of a prophet and presented himself in the presence of his Lord in a dignified state of bondsman. Thus, his bondsman is, is used in this verse while in Surah Fatah, the victory he sent his messenger is used. <coughs> he a Masjid Haram denotes the sacred mosque in Makkah Muazzama Mo because this mi'raj has, has, has commenced from the house of Hazrat Umm Hani, daughter of Hazrat Abu Talib. Says Allah Almighty, this offering re reaching to the Kaaba, in here Kaaba denotes the boundaries of the sacred mosque. Further, Allah Almighty says, near the sacred mosque, which is what is meant here. Thus, there is no inconsistency in this verse. Going is different to to take and to call. Here to take is used to show that Almighty Allah wants to show that 
he was with his beloved during this journey remained with him all the time and took him with him. Bay al-Aqsa is meant Jerusalem because this mosque is very far from Makkah Mukarramah requiring a journey of a month. If Bay al-Aqsa is taken to be that mosque of great distance far away from the earth found on the seventh heaven, i.e. Betul Ma'mur, then this word would be a proof for the heavenly Mi'raj. Remember, the Mi'raj up to Jerusalem is an absolute reality and one who rejects it is, uh, it is out of the fold of Islam. While one who rejects the heavenly Mi'raj is her heretic, if he rejects this on the ground that it is impossible for the doors of heaven to open and made an opening, then he is an infidel because he is caught up in the web of uh, intricate philosophy. The land of Jerusalem contains many blessings. It is lush green, has gardens and orchards laden with fruit, flowing rivers, clear fountains, as well as religious bounties. Most prophets were sent to this land. It is a resting place for many prophets and a place where divine revelation had come. By inviting his beloved messenger to the heavens and the throne of Allah Almighty to show him th those symbols and signs about which all the previous prophets has just heard. Example, seeing Allah Almighty with his own eyes, the throne of Allah Almighty, the divine chair, the divine tablet and pen, paradise, hell and etc. So that the testimony of the other prophets regarding these would be based on what is heard and that of Allah. Our, of our holy prophet sallallahu on what is seen allah almighty says o prophet no doubt we have sent you as a present beholder and a bearer of glad tidings and a warner after the testimony of an eyewitness there is no need of any other witness thus there can be no other prophet after our, our after our prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam allah almighty says this day I have perfected your religion. Thus, religion has been per completed and perfected because the eyewitness has arrived. He showed Hazrat Ibrahim salam, on who be peace, his dominion, but to his beloved, his beauteous visions and symbols. In this verse, right up to around which we have put blessings, mention is made of earthly mirage discussion up to the jerusalem while in that we might show him mention is made of heavenly mirage and in he is the hearing and the seeing and the seeing mention is made of mirage of the omnipresence for example beyond the heavens the earthly mirage is made up of as an introduction or proof of the heavenly mirage if you accept and believe in the earthly mirage of earthly part of Mi'raj, then the rest of Mi'raj, the heavenly and the beyond, will not be denied by you. This sentence means that verily, it is the beloved bondsman who is seeing and hearing. In other words, it is only that beloved bondsman who really has the capacity to directly see his great signs, his beauteous vision and speak to him. Therefore, only he is, the ble only he is blessed with this Mi'raj. Three Rivers on the blessed night of Mi'raj, the prophet of creation, the peace of our heart and mind, the most generous and kind, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam, saw a person with his hair combed, sitting on a chair beside the doors of Jannah. Seated by him were some people with bright faces and some with darkened faces. Those with darkened faces took a bath in a river and came out clean. They then entered another river and took a bath and came out even more purified. Upon entering a third river and bathing, they were purified so much that their color turned bright like their companions. They then sat next to those companions with bright faces. The beloved and blessed Prophet وسلم, asked, O oh, Jibra'il, who are these people? Sayyidina Jibra'il salam, replied, These radiant people have never mixed their iman with any evil or wickedness, and those who have a touch of darkness are people who mix their good deeds with so bad ones. But they repented, and Allah Azzawajal has accepted their repentance. The first river in which they took a bath in is a blessing from Allah Azzawajal. The second river is a favor of Allah Azzawajal, and the third river is what Allah Azzawajal made them to drink, Tahur, pure wine.
voice of heaven. During the blessed night of Mi'raj, the noblest Prophet وسلم, passed by a valley from which a fresh and pleasant breeze was blowing with the fragrance of musk. The Holy Prophet وسلم, heard a voice there and asked J Sayyidina Jibra'il as to what this pleasant breeze and with the fragrance of musk and what the voice was. Jibra'il replied, It is the voice of heaven saying, O Allah Azza wa Jal, grant the dwellers of Jannah entry into me and those for who you promised me and no doubt I have pleasant fragrances silk brocade pearls corals gold silver perfect things honey and milk and pure wine etc in abundance so grant them entry into me as you had promised me Allah Azza wa Jal says in you I will grant refuge to every Muslim man and woman who believe in me and my prophets they perform good deeds do not associate partners with me and fear me I will bestow upon those who ask me I will give rec recompense to those who lent to me I will fulfill the needs of those who have trust in me I am Allah Azza wa none is worthy of worship except me I do not go against my promise listening to this heaven said I am pleased now Entrance into Jannah The greatest blessings and favors which Allah Azzawajal has prepared for his virtuous bondsmen All these bounties and blessings have been shown to the beloved and blessed Prophet On the night of Mi'raj Ascension The beloved Prophet has stated I entered Jannah on the night of Ascension I saw stones which were made of pearls and soil of musk Thereafter I saw four rivers The first river was of water which does not change the second was of milk, the taste of which does not change. The third was of pure wine, which is delicious, non-intoxicating, to which to those who drink it. And the fourth one was of clean and pure honey. The, pomeg the pomegranates of Jannah were like large leather buckets in size, and the birds were as camels in size. Allah Azza wa has prepared such a marvelous and wonderful favors for his pious bondsmen, which have never been witnessed by an any eye, nor did anybody hear about it ever, and nor did anyone have any idea about it. Declaration of the Door of Heaven how merciful and compassionate our Rabb Azzawajal is that he Azzawajal showers great blessings and favors upon his bondsmen that we cannot even imagine. Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrated the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa has stated on the blessed night of my ascension I found a declaration written on the door of heaven that the reward for sadqah is multiplied by 10 times whereas the reward for giving alone is multiplied by 18 times. I asked O Jibra'il alayhi salam why is alone rewarded more than charity he said because a needy person may ask for charity when he does not need it but the borrower only borrows in cases of dire need T towering palaces we are listening to we are listening to the heavenly observations of our beloved Prophet وسلم, it is narrated that during the blessed night of Mi'raj the greatest Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw some incredibly tiring palaces in Jannah and upon inquiring about them Sayyidina Jibra'il Alayhi Salam humbly said these are for those who suppress their anger tolerate and forgive people and Allah Azza wa likes those who do, who do favors may Allah Ta'ala accept our efforts and give us the ability to respect the blessed month of Rajab Ameen please remember us in your du'as Jazakallahu Khair Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh